1937 had been a bad year. Cotton prices had dropped to gut level. Farms had folded. And for most, the future held only a mirror on the times. In the West, there was drought. In the East, there were floods. A hundred thousand men fought the Mississippi that summer, but the waters backed into Arkansas and Tennessee, Illinois and Missouri. Farms were ruined, houses torn loose. Nearly a million people floated from their land. The federal government resettled some families in model communities being built on productive farms. Each man was given 40 acres and a mule and five years to work his way out of poverty. Most of the resettlements withered away when World War II brought jobs and better times. But this one in Lakeview, Arkansas survived. More than half the families who moved here eventually bought their own land and stayed. You see, most of the folks who moved to Lakeview came from generations of sharecroppers who had never owned their own farms. For them, land was a way out of poverty. They would not give it up. Let's see, something else that I wanted to get. Jones Phillips moved to Lakeview in 1938. He and his brother Leon came looking for a better life. They have never doubted that they found it here. Let's see what the price of these is. Dollar, dollar ten cents. Dollar what? Ten cents a day. See the difference? I used to have to get it on a credit. Maybe take a month to pay for a bunch of group. And today I can reach in my pocket and pay it now. Ten years after the Depression, Jones Phillips was out of debt. Can you pick tomatoes? Yet he and his wife, Lou Gussie, raised 10 children and 69 grandchildren. You know what? What? We're going to have to pick some peas, too. All of them finished high school. Half went on to college. One of Leon's 10 children, Leon Jr., is now superintendent of schools in Lakeview. He is also city recorder. And in his spare time, he farms the original 40 acres. Jones, why did you want to succeed so badly? I don't want it so bad. I just wanted some of my own. I just want it for my children. I wanted to send them out in the world for themselves so they would b do a better job. And we did. This is a day the Lord has made. Why did Lakeview survive? Well, people will tell you it was born again, like its religion, a second chance city. There is more energy here on a Sunday morning than most places find all week. But some say Lakeview is in trouble. Machines have long since replaced people in the cotton fields. And the opportunity that got Jones Phillips out of poverty is now gone. Those who did not get government land back in the 1930s have little hope of owning land today. Would you like to own a farm? Oh, yeah, but ain't no use to me trying now. All I can do is pay for this house every weekend 32 years now. I don't know where I'll be in 32 years. But those who turned the Depression into a better life believe today's problems can also be solved. We all need you. We all stand in the need of you. There is still faith that the future can be corrected and that somehow Lakeview will survive. The people here know about the future. They have seen it in their past.
For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, in Lakeview, Arkansas.